Yeah, it was fantastic. It was a great experience to be back here in Rome for Alta Moda. Nine years ago, I started here in Rome with my international career. And it was also the year that Valentino did his last show. So I got a lot of attention then. I work half of the week in, in Italy and the other half of the week it's in Holland. And I think that uh, is also a part of my collection. It's partly the Dutch creativity and it has the Italian flavor. And um, yeah, that was really, in this collection, it was really the two worlds came together. The collection was inspired by Hieronymus Bosch. He was born in my city, in my hometown. And I came with a collection here in Rome. And Rome, of course, is the center of Italy, the Dolce Vita. And everything was just in place here in this garden. The people were very enthusiastic. They applauded a lot. Uh, I was very happy. Yeah, it's, it was a very busy year for me because, yeah, last year I, uh, I designed the collection, of course, for Bosch and I introduced it in February in Holland. And afterwards, I traveled with Bosch all over the world. I went to the Couture Fashion Week in New York. I went to uh, Lugano, Switzerland, then to Russia, St. Petersburg. I went to Yashi near the border of Moldavia. And uh, it's very nice that uh, the two things come together, that people all over the world appreciate the designs I made um, inspired by the fantastic work of Jeroen Moisbosch. This collection Bosch by Adi was really an experience because I wanted to try new barriers. I took three um, parts of the painting. So normally I'm known for my chiffon, my silk chiffon, my feather-like dresses. But in this case, I also wanted to use new materials. So very nice that uh, the two things come together, that people all over the world appreciate the designs I made um, inspired by the fantastic work of Jeroen Meisbosch.
the evening part, I used a lot of laces, of course. I'm really fond of laces. In every collection I use lace. And this time also I uh, used feathers. And also that gave a special remark. So I had feather dress in, in red. I had a beautiful pastel colors in yellow. And I think they worked out, it was nice. Ja, voor het eerst dat ik een Abbey aan heb. Ja, ja. Het, 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 het past goed. Ik heb hem hier in Italië leren kennen. Hij heeft de, jurk, de bruidsjurk voor mijn zusje gemaakt. En ik heb toen gezien hoeveel vakmanschap hij heeft, hoeveel aandacht hij geeft op alle details. En vandaag zagen we tegen de show ook hoeveel hij dat in, in meervoud heeft kunnen, kunnen doen. Dus dat is prachtig om te zien. En hoe vond u de show? Pracht, schitterend. Echt heel erg mooi om te zien. En... Veel jurk dat je denkt, nou dat uh, zou ik ook misschien wel een keertje aan willen hebben. Hoe vond u dat jou? Ja, ik vond het dus heel mooi. Het is dus, uh, heel veelzijdig en heel kleurrijk. En het past gewoon heel goed bij het zomersklimaat van, uh, van Italië ook. Ja, hele mooie lichte kleuren en, uh, en, 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 en de referenties naar de zee of de zon. Echt prachtig, echt een kleurenexplosie. Ja, je ziet natuurlijk uh, een van onze grote schilders uh, terugkomen als inspiratie in zijn jurken. Dus je ziet een oud uh, kunstwerk. Terugkomen in een hele moderne, luchtige uh, uh, kledij die, die Adi maakt. Dus die combinatie is natuurlijk prachtig. En dat hier tentoon te stellen, uh, nou, dat is natuurlijk uh, ja, helemaal goed. En ik zag de Italianen om ons heen al heel enthousiast uh, knikken en kijken en wijzen. Dus ik hoop dat hij er veel succes mee zal hebben hier. Ja, dus we mogen trots zijn op uh, zo'n uh, zo pakman. Ja. Um, I have the green part, it's a forest one, and I have the white part, I call it the egg, and then there is the heaven. The heaven was for me the most um, easy way, of course, because I always like to, to design romantic dresses, and in this case it was a very nice uh, color uh, schedule, so that was easy, but then the green part was really in this show, in this garden, the green part was, I, I loved it. I thought this is really the new color for the next winter. So in the green part, I did a lot of organza, a, little, a lot of uh, brocades. And um, yeah, I was really surprised that, that so many people came on this hot, very hot day. And um, yeah, the garden was really full of nice, nice people and a lot of press. And of course, uh, every time when there's a lot of press, you're nervous. What, what should they say? What, what do they think? 
And the Italian press, of course, they, they, they're used to very beautiful design from their own, their Italian designers. So, yeah, here comes a Dutchman in Italy, so, yeah, you have to wait what they think. But really, I was surprised then, in between the show, in between, there were looks, they applauded for, the, for several looks, and that was, for me, a nice, very nice surprise. Yeah, Italy is fantastic because I got a lot of inspiration here, got a lot of creativity and in Holland I'm very busy because besides my work in Holland also I have to do of course my uh, private uh, appointments for the clients, I have to do to uh, follow my shops, I have several shops in Holland and then of course um, when I'm in Italy I only do the design part of, of the work. So. Yeah, I got a lot of inspiration. Italy brings me the nice materials. I have very, uh, very nice cooperation with TGM. They print my fabrics and they understand my work. So, uh, yeah, that's very nice. If you have the right people who understand you and who can put you in the mood that you get energy and that you can make beautiful designs.